of this kind of agriculture, you disrupt all the natural evolutionary outcomes. And so the, 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 the final thing is you've, you're, you're reducing biodiversity, you're reducing biomass, and you're reducing the accumulation of organic matter. So you're altering photosynthesis, you're altering nutrient release, nutrient uh, recycling, and you're massively altering the infiltration and retention of moisture. And when you do that, and you play that scenario out for 10 to 12,000 years, it's a collapse scenario. And every civilization around the world, so now I've been to 90 countries in all parts of the world, and basically every place that followed this trajectory ends up as a desert and a responsibility to restore the earth now. And I mean, this is South Africa, Mexico, I mean, everywhere in the world we can, we can do this and it will have an enormous impact. And what, what this does is it changes this belief that wealth is coming from things to an understanding that wealth is coming from ecological function, from the systems that provide the soil fertility, the air, the water, the climate regulation. And, you know, this, we need to, to experience this, not talk about this. We need to go to these places. This is where the, the, the great inspiration and the great joy of doing this comes from. movement that we're building here together is about bringing back hope, it's about bringing back a purpose in life. The biggest problem that exists on our planet Earth now is climate change. So as a result we're facing so many problems but the solution to them is the same. We start restoring the ecology, the ecosystems. If we apply regenerative techniques to bring it back to life this is enough to reverse climate change. The purpose of ecosystem restoration camps is to restore land that has been degraded by humans. What we need to do is go to the historically degraded landscapes, which were once the Garden of Eden. Volunteers can come from around the world, or they can be local community members, volunteering five hours a day, helping to restore the planet. We are ecosystem restoration camps. You're not waiting for somebody else to do the work. To join a group that is actually restoring this planet. I quit my studies to come here to do a little bit of service, to give myself to the planet. This is the thing that I wanted to do. This is the tribe that I want to join. Can be a solution bigger than the things that I can do alone. This, this is where I want to be. This is what I want to be doing. We need to stand up together. We're, we're a new international of green-minded people. It's, it's a viral concept, that's why it's so strong. It starts with one camp, a lot of people going through that camp, they bring the idea home, they may start new camps. We go from a very degraded ecosystem back to a fully functioning ecosystem. Everybody open their eyes and they're like, oh, it's that simple. Desert used to be productive lands and could be made productive again. It is possible to change a landscape from a desert and to completely regreen it so that there's food, water, and, and wildlife in abundance. I think the camp also can teach us that we can live with very simple, eat the food we grow, um, sleep under the stars, and still have our comfort. Camps is, is a simple way. People get closer to the, to the earth, uh, to the ecosystems themselves, and it's, uh, it's easy to implement, and it doesn't leave traces. A great place to experiment for scientists, a great place to learn, uh, how to grow food, how to become more self-sufficient. Soil is the basis of life. If you have a, a soil that has no life, nothing good can grow from there. So by restoring the ecosystem, which involves restoring the soil, adding more organic matter to the soil and more life, uh, that soil will hold the water much longer, will hold much more nutrients, and that way bring back fertility. As we start planting trees, we start taking carbon dioxide out of the atmosphere, we, we start that process of reversing climate change. This area in Spain, for example, is, uh, is one of the most abandoned areas in Spain. 
degradation of the, of the ecosystem mirrors in the degradation of society. It's not just about restoring the land, it's also about restoring, restoring the societies, restoring people. With new people coming in and new knowledge coming in, connecting with local. So the, the bakery at the local village has a better business too. Farmers will have be an example of how to do things that they can copy on their land. Be um, an inspiration uh, for the region, for other farmers who are here struggling, but also for young people maybe to come back to the land and like see that farming is actually can be cool. Let's let's kind of bring back the spirit of, of childhood, of game, but of projects, of doing things together. Uh, I think that the, the camp will bring back that possibility of playing like a kid, but with a purpose. So the more that ordinary people like you and me are able to stand up and, and support it, the more momentum that it's going to get. Many initiatives all around the world are popping up. Everybody wants to make a camp now. That's fantastic and that's what we wanted. We wanted to inspire the people to take initiative. You can come to camp. I think that would be a really great option for someone who is available and wants to do something meaningful. They're going to be offering permaculture design courses here. Um, but if you can't come, you can become a member of ecosystem restoration camps by donating 10 euro per month. That's just a really simple way to basically make these camps a reality. We want to restore the earth. We want to live in the beautiful paradise that the earth is. Come to Ecosystem Restoration Camps and make part of the solution. Join other like-minded people who say, yeah, we can do it. We can reverse this biggest problem ever existed. Going back to the ground, uh, getting dirty, getting back to the soil, with love, with joy, with compañerismo and camaraderia, uh, is definitely going to make this happen. I hope you'll all join as supporting members. I think the interesting thing about this is the camps themselves need to be distributed, decentralized, self-organizing and self-governing. But we need to have a, a, a network so we can share the technology, share the, the designers and the, 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 the leaders of this movement so that everyone has the same knowledge around the world.